Hey guys, Casey here. Hey, uh, I want to give you a little bit of uh, tips on tapping the ends of aluminum extruded profile. So, um, the key thing is before tapping the ends is make sure you have really nice, clean cut. It's smooth. Don't have a whole bunch of little burrs or anything inside the holes that you're going to be tapping. And if you're tapping both sides, of course, make sure both sides are, are that way. Sure, your length's good. One little critical thing to always check. And then what I do is I mount it inside a vise, like you can see I have here. And I try to get it as low to the bottom of the vise as I can. It obviously depends on the length of the, the stick that I'm, I'm doing. But just try to get down so it's really a nice, solid, solid uh, 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 tightness there. There's a lot of different ways to tap. Um, there are power taps, um, something like these. I've gone through three of these sets, and I keep breaking them. Um, they do drill and tap at once which is great when you have a hole to drill as well, but I find that they just don't really seem to hold up for whatever reason. Um, another one that I have uh, gone through as well, and this is also gonna be done with a power drill, um, is essentially a, this is a power drill tap right here. Um, very strong, um, really good quality uh, that I have here, and they have worked really well. But what I found too is that if you break them, and you, then you get them stuck inside the profile, and then really you can't get them out. You have to either flip the profile over, use the other side if you're not tapping both sides, or you have to basically discard it and, and cut off that end and use it for some, something else that's a little bit shorter. Um, I've had really good success with just plain old hand tap. Um, this one's a ratcheting one. So you can see I can ratchet in one direction. It has a little... Uh, device here which I can then move it down and ratchet in the other direction or put it in the middle and now I'm locked. Um, very very nice I like this a lot particularly the ratcheting mechanism. I can get a really good quality tap put it in that square bit holder and now I can get it set into my extrusion piece here. One thing I always do is I use some uh, cutting fluid in this case it's a tap magic uh, cutting fluid. I found this works really well and this little tiny can gets you a lot of taps uh, or a lot of our cuts. And what I do is I just kind of just put a, a dab on the threads there and and uh, as I as I get started I try to push down um, just to get those threads engaged and going in. You don't have to push too hard and the key thing here is not to push too hard because you want the tap to essentially self-line into the hole in the extru extrusion. Now you notice I put a little more cutting fluid on here. Um, every time I go in a few threads, I put a little more cutting fluid. I don't really pay too much attention to which threads because this thing has three different cutting uh, 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 platforms. Um, I don't really pay too much attention to that because it's going to get dispersed anyways inside the hole and around the bit. But you notice it makes it really easy. So I'm not working hard here at all to, to move this ratcheting tap down. This is going to go down a little more than an inch, um, about an inch and an eighth or an inch and a quarter. And you see it's going in very nicely, real nice and smooth and easy, and all right down to the end. I don't want to sort of go past the end. I want to just get up to the end. And of course, friction is going to increase as we reach the end of uh, getting it the hole the way down there. Um, the bit all the way in um, because obviously there's more friction. Now one thing you notice too when I when I, I switch the ratchet mechanism here I'll just rotate that around so this mechanism the opposite direction so I can now ratchet out and oftentimes when I first start pushing it's, it can be really tight and it's kind of scary it feels like I might break the bit. Um, in this case it's a very good bit it's made specifically for aluminum um, and it, it I haven't broken one of these bits yet they've worked really well i've gotten a, a lot of taps out of this dozens if not more than a hundred and um, it's worked really well it came out really easy this time sometimes it gets a little caught when you're pulling it out the burrs inside there and stuff you have to push a little bit hard and then just you know usually it'll it'll kind of break free whatever little bit or something it's had you notice too as i'm doing this sometimes i'll put my fingers underneath um, this nice smooth platform of this ratcheting bit uh, holder and um, that enables me to kind of keep a little upward pressure and also a little bit of stabilization so the bit isn't moving around there as it starts getting 
almost out of the extrusion hole. So simple enough, just keep kind of gently rotating. I go gently, so I'm not going to mess up any of the, the nice threads I just created in here. Pull it out, and there we go. Now you notice I have a lot of shavings on this uh, bit here. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to go over a trash can. I'm going to take a paper towel, wipe all these off so that I don't push these into my next hole that I'm trying to uh, uh, thread. And so that way I've got a nice clean start. So it's really simple uh, to do that. Once I get it cleaned off, I then just simply swap the ratcheting mechanism back to the cutting or pushing down, put a little fluid on it, and do the my next hole. Um, and the hole that I just did, I'll basically just wipe off with a towel and just take a, a vacuum, a shop vac, and just kind of suck out any little tap, uh, shaving still in that hole. That way it's nice and clean, and any uh, screws will go in real nice and uh, easily and solid um, when I'm ready to attach this uh, to the part that I'm making. So thanks for watching. Hope that was helpful. And uh, in uh, my notes, I'll provide some uh, guidance to uh, where I found uh, a good ratcheting uh, tap uh, holder and also bits. Thanks.